I keep a record of the things I've said All the notions running through my head Well, since Herman's Hermits, which was quite a while ago, I formed my company, Pluto Music, actually with Lek, while we were both still in the band back in the late 60s. And uh, when I left the band, I then concentrated on uh, Pluto. We uh, were a music production company writing for advertising, commercials, uh, television, and eventually uh, for series, animated series and films for mostly children's TV. We were very fortunate um, to, to meet Mark Hall and Brian Cosgrove in the 70s um, and they had a, what became an internationally renowned animation company called Costco Hall and uh, we started off uh, doing the, their first very big project which was Wind in the Willows and we did a feature film and five series of that and then we uh, scored the BFG which was a Roald Dahl um, feature film that they did and then since then I've carried on. I've done uh, Bob the Builder for seven years uh, and more recently a hundred and odd episodes of uh, Daisy and Ollie with Jason Manford. Making this album has been uh, an eye-opener really. I've, I've never uh, had a project like this before that's involved my own um, personal songs. I've been writing music and songs for all these years. Um, but there's never really been an outlet for something like this uh, and, until now. It's been very enjoyable and not least the fact of the social aspects of actually getting people back in the studio. Most of, of these people were the people that, that we worked with predominantly in, in the 80s uh, in, in Manchester. Uh, we've got Sue Quinn who's a, a great writer but she's a phenomenal uh, singer so her and Steve Butler on uh, backing vocals. We got Phil Bush who was my engineer for Donkey's Years and we wrote different series together, one for uh, Terry Pratchett's uh, novels. Um, he came in did some lead guitar on it. Um, we got Snake Davis who's a uh, renowned sax player. He, he uh, did a great job on one of the tracks. And Paul Burgess who, who used to do all the drums for us in town. He's now with 10CC so he came over and uh, did two or three tracks. The idea for the album uh, was really uh, my son Dan, who, who works with me and on his own. He's a, he's a writer and works in music. And we were talking one day uh, during the lockdown, uh, and although we had the series going on, so we were fairly busy, he picked up on the fact of the, these songs that were uh, around, finished, not finished, etc. And um, pitched me the idea of why don't we do like a, a proper project and, and do it for real. So there we are and uh, here we are. The title of the album Never Too Late um, came very late in the day when we were n nearly finished the album and um, it just popped into my head and I thought well that fits the bill perfectly and here we are and the grand old age that I am and uh, uh, but we're still at it so you know there's always time it's never too late. Everything is looking good She came into my life just like I always hoped she would And I'm blown